Hey everybody, just figured I'd show you the wood-fired boiler that I've been working on for the last couple months. Uh, I'd taken an old compressor tank and removed the bungs from the side and put bushings in there. Uh, reduced it from, I guess it's uh, one and a half down to an inch and then down again to three quarter of an inch. Um, cut a hole in each end of the of the compressor tank to so nine inch diameter and used a helium cylinder and slid the cylinder all the way through the middle up to the front here that way the water is surrounding the entire cylinder which is going to be hot and put a flat plate door on it as you see with a stoker fan uh, the fan is 12 volt and it's going to run off a 12 volt battery but I plan on using a solar panel, small solar panel to charge the battery and uh, I have it going through a home uh, water heater thermostat or an aquastat as they call it I guess. It's set at 150 degrees and this tank is not going to be under pressure it's going to be vented the whole time so there's no real pressure uh, that's going to build up in the system no worries about getting pressure built up and something bursting uh, when I did this I had pressurized the tank and checked all my welds and found any leaks and re-welded those areas so it's leak proof right now um, the only thing I have to do is find a radiator which this hose right here is actually a garden hose and it's rated at 200 degrees I got it at the local uh, hardware store and uh, looked at the package and it says uh, rated for 200 maximum which is good because I only plan on having this at 180 so that gives me 20 you know 20 degrees of uh, safety cushion there. The uh, fittings on the end are just there for the moment until I find a radiator. Um, you know there's nothing special about this it's just basically out of stuff that I've had and bought a few things. I bought the hose, the fittings, uh, stove pipe and everything I've had. The cylinder was at the farm. The air compressor tank I've had, uh, the flat steel and everything I've had so I have to still finish the latch on the on the front door here and I also have to put a strip of fiberglass around the door to make a good seal although it does a really good job of sealing just fine without it so anyhow I just figured I'd show you all that so I'll make another video of it when it's up and running. So, till then, see ya.